Um, so, Sawami here go do yawa. And Kwaja Sheldon is out for her neck. Let's get into the details. Okay, hey, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. Y'all know the name, the dope man. And today I'm back with a brand new gossip. Y'all remember this issue right here, right? Yeah, what's on your screen right there? So, in this post right here, Sewami here was kind of going against these politicians. Y'all know it's political season. It's an election year. So it's like all these politicians are trying to, even though there's corona, they are trying to find ways and means to campaign even though the law doesn't allow it right now. So Sewami here was kind of like bashing these politicians, saying, oh, y'all can't do this, y'all can't do that. But then, um, this same Sewami here, a week before that, was celebrating someone else's birthday in the studio with no social distancing. And then Kwaja Sheldon came in to tweet this one right here. So after Sewami here had played the whole blame game, blaming them all, oh, y'all didn't need to do this, y'all didn't need to do that, why y'all doing this and all that, Kwaja Sheldon was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, you don't even have the mental locus to do this right here. You, you, you shouldn't be the one talking on this topic because just, just a few days ago, this is what you were doing. You were partying with no social distancing or anything in place. So how then do you even have the lookers to talk on something else of that same matter? Then saw me here did what? Went ahead and blocked Sheldon. We all know the story, right? So you all remember it, right? So today, saw me here good big time and Kwaju Sheldon is out here for her neck. Yo, just read this Kwaju Sheldon tweet right there. Yeah, read this tweet and I'll be back to you. You all know Kwaju Sheldon is my brother and I'm going to side with him most times. But this one right here, I'm going to set out of it. I'm going to set out of it and just watch what my brother does with it. Because um, it was kind of very funny when Sawami here had called him comical. Listen, we are Ghanaians. We as Africans, we just don't choose words. We always choose words with a kind of like a, an attached meaning to what the word actually means. Let's just face facts. That's what we do. We don't just say, it's like we say in English, you're a fool. We just don't say you're a fool. We want it to, we have an emotion attached to what we say. So for her to have called Sheldon a comical individual, it was kind of crazy. So for her to go this big time, you all know Sheldon is going to come for her neck. It's like, it's, it's going to be dead. It's going to be crazy dead. I can't wait to go and see the video on, on Sheldon's channel right now. Like, what is he going to say about this right here? I just want to see his take on it. Because you all know this guy hates, let me use the word hates. Like, he hits the girl with all his sacks. <laughs> So this area is going to be very crazy. Watch this video right here and I'll be right back. Any challenges with that? Okay. Now, I, I, let me ask you my final question. There's also a growing perception that wrongdoing, um, the president is not interested in punishing wrongdoing in this country. And the Ayawasu West will go on violence has been put forward as an example. Why haven't the people who participated in the violence in the Ayawasu West will go on by election been punished yet? push people and what was the recommendation for punishment that has not been executed i mean we saw a video of a young man as per video you can see but there was a commission of inquiry assaulting punishment don't worry there was a commission of a inquiry, sitting member of parliament. if i may so what was the recommendation which has not been implemented then we can get into the specifics you tell us why government... No, you are asking you, the you, question. Because I saw the government are, white paper on yes, it. Yes, you are asking the question. The question, I'm sure, is based on something. That there's a recommendation you have seen, which recommendation you are not sure has been implemented. And so I'm looking for clarity. Which recommendation has not been implemented that you want to ask specifically about? I want you to speak specifically to the young man who slapped a sitting member of parliament. What was the recommendation? Because I think that we have to go back to the report, look at the recommendations, go to the white paper... Look at the uh, position on the recommendations. And then we can now have a conversation about, is there some outstanding matter? In the absence of that, um, we will be having what some may call a sentimental conversation that we saw this video, this wasn't good, etc. But what did the commission find? What was the white paper comment on that particular finding? And is there any outstanding matter? I think when we have those specifics, we can go into it. But because you mentioned we are coming to the end of our conversation, let me um, um, uh, put, put, put a summary to my submissions this morning. On COVID, we are generally making progress. We need people to support us. As we get ready for the election, we have an opportunity to compare the two leading candidates. Um, has President Akufuado served well over this period? Generally, there are criticisms about his corruption record. I've explained to you the part. I think you all saw that video right there. That's the right there. Uh, wait, some of you are defending the lady, saying, oh, 
the politician was kind of sidestepping no no bro bro this ain't sidestepping just it's just not how do y'all think journalists get arrested how do y'all think organizations get sued how do y'all think some journalists do lose their jobs it's because they do speak on matters whereby they don't even know the ins and outs of it as a journalist if you are sitting for an interview you ought to go through your research you ought to go through the papers go do research go have some further knowledge on the topic you want to speak about but then this lady here as y'all can see from this interview she just didn't prepare she just didn't prepare she had nothing she knew nothing about what she was asking the question about wait let me dump it down for some people how do you be a teacher set an exam question for the kids which you the teacher has no answers for how do you ask kids to answer questions you clearly don't understand how are you going to mark it then i don't even get it you sat went through your notes you, you are the you are the person conducting the interview so you knew the questions you were going to ask you're trying to tell us that you went for the interview knowing you're going to ask that question but then just didn't do any research whatsoever about it how do you go into an interview ill prepared how do you do that so those of you who are being like oh the politician was sidestepping no he just asked a clear question you are asking this question right but then i don't get your point so can you elaborate can you just explain to me better so i can answer your question for you and what is even crazy about this one right here is she didn't know so how could she have gone around this she could have just said something like i don't know the details about it enlighten me so the guy would just go on and on and on about it then she could have picked on what the guy said and asked further questions to kind of probe much more into why certain actions haven't been taken that is what she wanted to ask in the first place but then no she just had no understanding she had not done any research and that's it right there she just sucked at her job like she just goofed big time on this one right here so those of you who are just trying to make it calm like as if oh she knew what she was doing trying to save face and all that bro stop it stop it this is just not it she messed up big time she knew what she was talking about and then she didn't even have the mindset she didn't even have the knowledge on how to turn the whole issue around my sister if you ever get to watch this bro I, I'm, I'm not picking sides all i'm trying to tell you is go back and watch back in the days of new day when um your sister nana banama was on tv3 go watch how she used to conduct her interviews the knowledge she spoke from the kind of research she did she's your colleague now you could ask her for like more knowledge on these topics you should know it's political season whoever that you're going to have on your show they know you're out to draw blood they know you're out to ask questions that are going to push them to the corner going to push them in that tight space you should they know that's what you're going to do they're going to press them to say things they might have not wanted to say you are going to push them against the wall they know they know you're coming in for blast when they are coming they also arm to the teeth yes you just this one right here he just killed her your whole career is on the line right now because you came into an interview ill prepared and you're trying to save face on twitter you're trying to save face on twitter i think ga trans would have really sat her out of this one right here knowing the caliber of person he is the knowledge this one was also in the same field before he transitioned to be a politician so it's like he have both he have both sides he's well balanced i don't know why they really made our sister sit on the show but then this one right here nah this wasn't it you goofed big time my sister you goofed so those of you who are trying to save her face trying to cover up and be like oh the politician was sidestepping nah that is not it that that is not it That's right there if you ain't prepared for the interview don't ask the question and if you're asking the question know that you have to have facts to back it so what was your end game what, why were you even asking this question you're just gonna ask the question and he answers and that should have that would have been it so it's like oh there are yeah, also ways to go and blah 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 and he goes like oh it's this 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 that and that was it you're not going to probe any further you, you have to that's why you have to arm yourself with questions with the facts that's why you have to arm yourself with all these things you have to set stay overnight have the research before you come out and bro what you thinking is one of these celebrities whatsoever that you're kind of like interviewing nah nah you goofed big time anyway that's my whole take on it i know kojo sheldon is going to come for her neck i can't really wait to watch kojo sheldon's video on this one right here because i know he's going to go for blood 
is going to be insults all over. He's going to mix the whole thing with his whole English of alacrities. That guy is just stupid. <laughs> hey, shout out to my guy, Charlie. Shout out to you. And then, uh, take a cool on the lady, right? Yeah. Dump it down for her. Just dump it down. Don't go hard on her. Anyway, that's right there. My name, The Dupe Man. Signing out. Come back tomorrow. And I'll have much more for you. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>